is one of the more common questions that I get. So if you think about inception technology, if you look at the word inception itself, focus on the C, it's all about carbon technology. So inception technology is one of our five core technology platforms that we deal with at Ag Explorer. And I'll tell you that, that inception in itself consists of humic and fulvic acids as well as some of our sugar compounds, some of our carbon compounds that we derive from sugar. So that would be underneath our platform of inception technology. If you think about the agronomics of, of inception, inception brings a lot of value both in the soil and as a foliar application. So when we look at, look at soil applications, I'm gonna use starter fertilizer as an example. So if, bear with me, I'll draw a little diagram here. So let's imagine I'm planting corn and I'm gonna put an in furrow starter fertilizer on, so directly on top of the seed. So I come in here, and here's my soil surface, and I plant my seed a couple inches deep, and I'm gonna put that, soil, that fertilizer solution right on top of the seed. And it's gonna go into soil solution in about a two inch band right around that by the time it dissolves into soil solution. The benefit of adding organic acids in this solution into a starter fertilizer is you have the ability to bolster this soil solution's CEC, okay? Now it doesn't do anything between the, the rows, okay? Just right down that row, it's gonna help in that soil solution. The benefit of that is, let's talk agronomics of the corn plant. When that plant germinates, the mesocotyl comes up, radical comes out of that seminal root system, that first root system that a, that a corn plant puts on. And all the way between V3 and V5, that plant's determining yield. Well, in the starter fertilizer, we can bolster the CEC and increase that soil's ability to hold, store, and exchange potassium, calcium, other positively charged ions in the soil. And you set the, that opportunity for success, you set it up early. So that's one benefit. And again, it doesn't do anything between the rows, just right down the row, right in that, 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 that soil solution where that starter is, star is located. So the other thing about, about inception technology. A lot of folks use it in the fall. You know, the, the next crop year starts when the combine runs, right? So when we're harvesting corn and we're corn on corn or corn going to beans or corn going to cotton or whatever it may be, you know, our, our next season starts the moment that combine leaves the field. So it's all about residue management. So a lot of folks today across the United States and Canada are using um, inception technologies, humic acids, fulvic acids, sugar compounds um, to work on that breaking down that plant residue that's left out there. You know, when I was a kid, I grew up on a farm in northern Indiana, and we planted corn, soybeans, wheat, and alfalfa. And I remember back in the 1980s and early 90s that you used to drive down the road after harvest, and you'd see the dirt between the rows. Remember that back in the days, right? We don't see that anymore. And why, why don't we see that anymore? We don't see it anymore is because our genetics are so good, and we've gotten really good at putting, building a bigger factory, a bigger plant. Right, so we have more, more trash, more residue, more fodder that we need to manage as we, as we leave that field and get ready for the next year. So a lot of folks will, will apply like a humic acid or an inception technology to work to break down and feed those microbes. Because inception in itself, humics and sugars especially, are really good at feeding microbiology. So combined with UAN, Inception technology is a great technology to put on for that residue management. As you look at a foliar application, it's a complete different agronomic story. So in foliar applications, when you put inception with, with, with nutrients, a macro and micronutrient package, you increase that ability for those nutrients to cross into the cuticle of that plant and getting taken up and absorbed and into that plant. So think about it like this. A plant's skeletal backbone, backbone is carbon, right? It loves carbon, it absorbs that carbon, it digests that carbon, and in doing so, it brings that nutrition into the plant. It's like a shot of energy as well once it gets inside of a plant. I say that because it'll improve that, not only improve foliar uptake, it'll increase that plant energy because it's carbon. If you look at the photosynthetic process, there's a daytime reaction and a nighttime reaction, and the final product of photosynthesis is a, is a product called acetate. So in the course of that action, during the daytime reaction, the plant is gonna digest and utilize a six carbon chain we call glucose that we know as sugar, right? So it's carbon. 
This is another way to feed carbon inside that plant to help it, that plant um, metabolize and photosynthesize. So ultimately, it'll enhance chlorophyll production um, and, and do a lot for that plant from an energy standpoint. So looking back to recap on inception technology, it works in the soil and starter fertilizers to boost soil CEC. It works also to feed microbes, be it in the soil or to feed the microbes that produce enzymes that break down the residue of, of plants from the prior year. And then it also improves foliar nutrient uptake, increases plant energy and chlorophyll production to support photosynthesis. Thanks. These are just a few of the Ag Explore products utilizing Inception technology. To see our full line of products and learn more about our technologies, visit agexplore.com.